Hey guys, so today I have a pretty decent sized haul to show you. Um, I have eight things here and they're actually from five different places. A few of these items I have had for about the past week, but I didn't include them in a haul because they were the only thing I bought. Um, but the other ones are brand new that I haven't tried yet, so I'll just go ahead and get started. First, I'll show you the two items I got at PetSmart. PetSmart actually did have probably like six to ten, I'm not sure how many, new small pet products and a lot of them I wasn't really interested in because it was like it was a really cute mineral chew but she has mineral chews and like loofah chews and different stuff but there was one thing that caught my eye and it was this National Geographic lounging logs this is just like a fiddlestick bridge um I really like the natural ones and these are the only ones I've seen here in the U.S. that actually just look like natural sticks um, all the other ones are either the colorful fiddlestick huts or just the, like, Petco ones are just round pieces of wood. But these are just actual cut sticks that look more natural. So I thought I would pick these up. They did have that in a small and a larger size, so I got the small. I think this was $5.99, so it was a little bit pricey, but it was new and I'd never seen it before, so I got that. And also from PetSmart, I got this Thunder shirt in the extra small size. Um, both Steve and Ellie do have separation anxiety when I leave for work. Um, I have tried a ton of different techniques, and I've had a little bit of luck, but not too much. So I thought I would try one of these just to see. I know it does really help some dogs, and it doesn't help others quite as much. These are on sale for $35. I know you can get them for about $25 on Amazon. Um, but this way, if it doesn't work, it is easier for me to take back. And since Steve and Ellie are about the same size, the extra small will fit both of them. So I can try it on them. And if it works, I can always get another one. Next, I got three things from Walmart. The first thing, again, is for Buttercup. This is just the Wild Harvest Edible Logs. Um, I have had these for my old hamsters, but she has not had one. Um, this was one of Cheerio's favorites. So I'm hoping she might like to chew on this. I'm sure she won't go in it much. She is very particular about her huts, but hopefully she'll like to chew on this. And this was just over, I think this was three or three and a half dollars. I'm not too sure. Next is something again for the dogs. This is just the Hearts Chew and Clean um, value pack because there are two of them in here. And I've never seen a two pack of these before. And these are the extra small. I have got these before and my dogs really do seem to like them. They're just a treat um, bone type on the inside wrapped in a little plastic toy. Of course they don't really play with the toy once the treat is out. But it does take them quite a bit to get these out and this was I think four and a half dollars so it was cheaper than buying them separate and I wanted to get them something fun to keep them busy so I thought I would try these and last from Walmart is another dog product but this one I have never seen before this is the milk bone brushing chews um daily dental treats and this is the mini size I actually picked this up about a week ago so they have tried these before these are just similar to like dentist sticks except they have a little bit different shape and they do come in different sizes. Um, this box, there are 14 treats in here. And it was right around $5. I know they did have packs for $10. I think had 32 treats. So they were cheaper. But I didn't want to buy too many. Just because I really didn't need them. And I didn't want to spend that much. But my dogs really do like these so far. Next, I picked up one item from Target. These are just some deodorizing dog wipes by Boots and Barkley. Which I believe is just a Target brand. And these smell like grapefruit and it's a hundred count. I just thought these would be really good for like when they come in after it rains and stuff and they have a little bit muddy paws. I can just wipe these off and give them a quick cleaning without giving them a bath all the time. I think these were six or seven dollars so they were pretty expensive but since there's a hundred in there they will last quite a while. Next is a toy I've had for about a week now and this is Steve's, one of Steve's absolute favorites. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond. Actually, they have a very small pet section in there. This was $3.99, and this is actually a jingly ball. I've never seen a jingly ball made for dogs before, so even though he doesn't need toys, I had to get it for him. I have to say, it's definitely one of his favorites. He plays with it like a cat. So it just has this rubber green on the outside, and it's about the size of a tennis ball. And then on the inside, it has a little jingly ball, and then that is wrapped in a pink rubber ball. Just in case he was to bite through the green part, um, he doesn't bite the jingle because it is wrapped in another pink little ball. So he really, really loves this. And last is another toy that I bought about a week ago. It is one of Steve's favorites and Ellie actually plays with a little bit too. This is a hide -a bee I got this on Amazon, but I do sell them um, quite a few places and they come in a lot of different brands and styles. 
if you want to see what this one is called, is just Plush Puppies by Kaijin. Um, this is just a big beehive, and then there are actually three separate little squeaky bees in here. And Steve loves to pull these out, shake them out, and then run around with the beehive and try to get all the bees out. And he likes even playing with the hive when the bees aren't in there. And like I said, these come in a lot of cute different styles. I know they have like squirrels and tree trunks and little mice that come in a piece of cheese. So they're really, really cute. Um, I got this on Amazon for $9.99. I believe they are quite a bit more expensive if you get them in store. But you do have quite a few options for that. So that is everything I've picked up for Ellie Steve and a couple things for Buttercup. Like I said, most of these products I did just get today. Except for the few that I've had for about a week and tried out. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul. I know there are quite a few products in here that I don't see many hauls on. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.